All right, guys, cold fronts here. It's 55 degrees out. Just got off work, was able to leave work early. Awesome. I'm going to jump in the stand. I'm not going to get out there till about four o'clock, which is pretty late for me. Uh, where I'm at, they deer might already be in the field. So I'm not going to be able to do an intro or anything, which is why I'm doing it here. I haven't even got it changed. I haven't showered. I haven't done any of that yet. So plan is run home, get changed, shower, um, jump in the stand. I'm going to creep in as you know, I'm taking the creek again, so I should be able to get in there scent free and hopefully pretty quiet if I can stay off some sticks on the on the floor. So we'll see what happens. I'm should at least get some good footage of some deer. So stay tuned.
shot it was only 15 yards I got a clean pass through um, hopefully it looks kind of cool with the lighted knock it look cool from my perspective I just don't know how it's gonna be on the video uh, it's not the biggest buck but I don't know you know how much longer I'm gonna be able to hunt this year uh, with the kid and everything so I'm not really doing it for the horns either I just kind of want some meat so that deer will be great and you know, hopefully everything looks good on the arrow we're gonna give them about an hour or so before I even get down and check my arrow because I think he crashed so close by. Uh, I knocked another arrow. If the doe wants to give me a good enough shot, I'm gonna let it fly, so let's see what happens. So here's the deal. I backed out. I didn't like the blood I was finding for the first 50 yards. It was good long blood, but there just wasn't a ton of it. Um, the shot looked good to me. I'm going to review it on the big computer and see where it was. It looked like it was a hard shot to me, but you know I can't tell off my small camera. So we're going to try and see where it exactly was and go from there. Well, okay. Alright, we're get we got on a pretty good trail now. He's starting to pour out pretty good. We're maybe a hundred yards from where he got shot, so we should be able to find him. Hopefully he's up here soon. It looks like good lung blood, so we'll see. Alright, well, uh, another disappointing one on my behalf, but I really don't think it was my fault on that one because the shot placement looked pretty good. I don't really know how I can get a whole lot better than that. Uh, I'm starting to think the broadheads I'm using are not that great, which they're pretty expensive and severs are pretty good. He uses them and likes them a lot. Maybe they're not working for me. I don't know. Um, but we got on good blood, as you can see. He was pouring for 700 yards. I mean, you found... Yeah, we found what might have been a bed, hard to say. I mean, it probably wasn't. It just was oddly and oddly two little pools where maybe he just stopped, but right in a different bed maybe. But then we did find one, and there was, a, I mean, a, a full bottle worth of yeah. blood in there. And you could see the foamy blood coming out of his mouth all over the leaves. I mean, we were steady walking the whole time. Yeah, it was pretty clear he got hit in the, at least one lung, probably both lungs, and I don't even know how he didn't get hit in the heart with that shot. Uh, 
the 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 weird thing is like you see in the video. I mean, that is behind the shoulder. I mean, I don't know what else you want. I mean, I mean, like let us know what you guys think. I mean, a lot of guys have shot a lot of deer. Let us know if there's something we're missing. But I mean, it looks like he clean, drilled it. I mean, clean pass. We'll put through. a still shot up of the right when the knock's going into the deer right by the shoulder. And like we waited three hours to even track it with a shot like that. I mean, most people that shoot you like that ain't waiting three hours. I wouldn't think. Well, I didn't get down from the stand for an hour. Waited yeah. a whole hour just to get down to check the arrow. And I thought I hit him, you know, I thought I hit him pretty good, but once we reviewed it, we were like, oh, yeah, yeah that's a deer, that deer, yeah. for sure. So we went out after we got out there about two and a half, three hours, like you said, and, and nothing. It's just, I, I don't even have words to describe that because that's, I mean, and everybody says that's hunting, and then I, apparently it's getting very frustrating for me because that's two deer already. I know the first one ducked and glad to see it's still alive which is yeah, awesome. Yeah he, he was there tonight yeah uh, right after he shot the deer he came by a different camera. Yeah he was what four or five hundred yeah, yards the other way yeah. so and it's good to see he's still in the area and get some redemption on him but uh, this there's no way this deer lives. No. And we tracked it 700 yards and then the blood is just gone after he laid in the bed the blood is just gone so that doesn't make any sense. Uh, it, it, Shortly close to the bed is the neighbor's property line, so I'll probably call him in the morning and see if I can just take a uh, walk around. We did a pretty good grid search tonight on all of our property and nothing. Yeah, I mean, no blood, no nothing. I, it doesn't make sense. I guess he clotted up in that last bed or something, but yeah. there's no way he's living. So uh, the Another thing, th that would have been Brandon's first uh, bow kill with a compound, so he's not like a... You know, he hasn't shot a whole ton of deer, but he's, I mean, I've seen him shoot. He shoots great. I mean, he shoots great all the time. And he shoots all the time, and it's just like, and that was a good shot, so you feel for him. It's like, he's, you know, the, and that, I mean, I don't know, whatever else you put the arrow. Yeah, I mean, I, I, like you said, I shoot every day. I want to strive, and I know the first shot on the buck might have been a tad high, but he also ducked in this one. I mean, I, I put it right where I needed to put it. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it just didn't work out. Yeah. Um, so I, I, like people say that's hunting, but it's, it sucks. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, hopefully we can figure it out. I know it wasn't a crazy big buck, but like you said, I've been battling surgeries for the last few years. So I've been using comp our, uh, crossbows. So I, I love shooting my bows and I'm, I'm pretty decent. I can hit, you know, three inch, four inch pattern at 50 yards. Like it's nothing. So I, I know what I'm doing, but. It just didn't work out tonight, and um, hopefully we find him in the morning, but it's probably not going to. So. Yeah, we'll um, We'll see. But uh, we appreciate you watching and everything, and hopefully we can bring you – hopefully I can bring – I know Jamie can kill a deer apparently, but not me. <laughs> so hopefully I can bring you a deer on the ground. I, at this point, I am going to have to shoot it in the heart and then wait about 10 hours to go get it. So, <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, it's – We'll see. We'll see what happens, and uh, I'm not gonna let it get me down too much because mm -hmm. that's uh, I did everything I could, and yeah, you know, that's I guess how it goes. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and uh, we'll hopefully be bringing you guys some more videos the rest of this hunting season.